live. Hi, dog. It's Susie Health Solutions. And it's Susie Villa. Hi, Susie here. That's Matt. Hey. Okay. We're doing a special video chat today. Video. So yeah, this will be on YouTube uh, because it'll have links to our blog. Mm -hmm. So if you want to make changes to your health insurance price, yes. it has links and where to go. And some uh, screenshots. Uh, okay, so people. So people. We are actually not in horrible state. Well, no, we're in Washington. We like our state. We like our state. However, Zone Seven, uh -huh. which is kind of north central Washington. Right. They break up Washington State. Actually, all the states get broken up into into different zones. Uh, we'll just go Washington. We'll go to Washington. Because we know this for a fact. They broke us up into eight eight zones. Yeah. And we are Zone Seven, which becomes which encompasses most of central Washington. Yeah, um, we are, again, uh, one of the more expensive sections. It has been every year since the beginning. Uh, we are either number one or number two uh, for our carriers, yep. for most expensive. Yep. And it's largely because of location. Yeah. It's all about location, location, location. Well, it's population density as well. Well, you've got population density. Mm -hmm. You've got population usage. Yes. But the other things that really make up the, the thing is the providers. Yes. And we have a seriously neck down provider situation. Yes. When you deal with like just one or two providers in a, in a large area, mm -hmm. they have a tendency to request a higher compensation. Exactly. So our local um, monopoly is asking for a, a higher compensation. Near monopoly. Nine monopoly. You're right. It's not quite a monopoly. And the thing is, is, is what is, you can tell that they're, 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 they're playing with the, some of these mon, monopo, monopoly rules mm -hmm. and uh, with Cascade Care. Yes. And the reason I say that is because Cascade Care is the, it's the uh, kind of the state option. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw their Cascade Care plans come in this last year with the states, but they have a state compensation level yes for the providers right and that's standardized just like the policy it, it, correct it's a standardized so hey which you know you think would lead to wider networks you think because they, they have to take a same contracted rate mm -hmm. you know regardless it hasn't no not yet um in fact we, we we saw a good example last year with a provider, the primary care physicians hammered out completely out of yeah, the network. Yeah, one of the plans said, okay, if you want to use our plan, you have to use this specific group for your network, mm -hmm. which eliminated the other group entirely. Yeah, um, and that has to do with, again, you know, providers, mm -hmm. how they negotiate, mm -hmm. uh, it's two to tango, and, so no, that, and no one is holding, you know, the provider's feet to the fire. No, no. Um, there's a lot of. It's a lot of give and take. I think some of the some of the carriers are afraid to, to um, to, to confront the provider group because they don't want to lose that contract at all. And right now, the provider group has a lot of power, and they can say, "Fine, we're not going to contract with you at all," and then they lose everything in the in their zone. Everything in the zone. Um, that's really important because we've had we've had insurance companies be forced to leave the area. See, the, so what we want is what we need is not for the the um, carriers to push the the nope. provider groups. We want everybody else. To carriers push. cannot. We've we've, yeah. we've talked to a number of the carriers. The carriers are hands are tied in this really matter. Are. So it's all up to the consumer. The consumer's got to say, hey, provider, why don't you you know get better rates. Uh, why aren't you part of the, the, this community discussion of lowering in the cost of insurance so more people can be insured so you have less charity that you have to give out? Exactly. Because um, that, that's a big formula there. It's like, okay, if they don't have health insurance, that means they got to do compassionate care. Mm -hmm. So they incur more labor, they have to write it off, they have to upcharge the people with health insurance. Exactly. So it's a no-win situation. It really is not this, it's not good for anybody. Correct. Yeah, it's, uh, there, unless there's something going on from the providers, 
um, edge, which you know from their side mm -hmm. we don't know about, which is possible. Okay. <laughs> Who knows? Um, there may be some reason why why they want to do it the way they do it. Well, the the, the important thing to know, and this is the important thing, is the eighty twenty rule. Oh yeah, very important. Explain the eighty twenty rule. Eighty twenty rule is basically is the health insurance companies have to spend eighty percent of the premiums received mm -hmm. on actual health care. Yes. If they don't, they have to cut you a large check. Well, that would be a large check. Well, they have to cut you a check to, to compensate you. Right. Uh, compensate the policy owners. Right. Us individuals are the policy owners. Right. If it's a group plan, like through an employer or something like that, then it goes to the... The employer. Employer. Which is, which is a kind of a cool, it keeps the insurance companies from overcharging. Right. Now, we received checks last year largely because of COVID and the, the whole clamp down, everyone can't go to use health right. insurance. So that, that's an example of, of the system in check. There are no checks for providers from overcharging. Now, is that only true? Is that true of um, nonprofits? Only in nonprofits, or is it also true of, of privately owned? There's no, there's no, there's no checks and balances. There's no checks and balances. Well, there's no regulation. It's because we're dealing with a free market society. The free market. It's a free market system, which has gotten to the point where these guys are writing their own rules. Uh, okay. It's, f you, if you say it's free market, and then you'd, ha then you'd have to toss out the 80-20 rule. Mm -hmm, true. The insurance companies are op operating in good faith that, hey, this will be done. Unfortunately, you don't have checks and balances from the pharmaceutical industry, from the from the provider side. So that's where one of the grand flaws in America's medical system lies. Correct. So if you if you really want to, you know, you know, look at that, yeah, you gotta have those those flat costs and in this kind of shell game. Because mm -hmm. that's what it is. So, which brings us to what we're kind of looking at. Now, okay. First ones I want to deal with. Now you're not gonna go into detail on every single one of these. No, right? I'm only gonna that's Five, five plans. Because <laughs> there's like 400 pages on some of these. Correct. We're, we're kind of going to go on a, a, a really broad oh. because things are going to change. Okay, so here's what's happened. The initial filings from the different insurance carriers in Washington State have been published by the by the Washington State Office of the Insurance Commission. Yes. These are the first draft of what the insurance companies are asking for. Mm -hmm. This is not a done deal. No. Not by any stretch. There's a lot of negotiations going on behind the scenes and will continue. There's a lot of push and pull from both sides. And it's all very, this is just, but it's all public. So It's all public. That's what we're talking about. It's public. Uh, the rates that I'm going to use are based on a 40-year-old non-smoker uh -huh. in Chelan County. Right. Which is our zone. Now, are these rates adjusted for the American Rescue Plan? No. And okay. that's important to note. Because um, this first section, these are plans that are off exchange. Okay. Which are not eligible for American Rescue Plan. They're not eligible for tax credits. Right. Um, probably the, the, the only ones that should really be looking at it, you know, staying in these plans or if you met your if you met your deductible this year, mm -hmm. if you're a uh, non-documented mm -hmm. resident, yeah, um, and that's about it. Yeah. Um, and the and the reason we say we say this is is because the American Res Rescue Act came in May six and said, okay, hey, all you folks that didn't qualify. Are probably going to qualify for some credits. Uh, we've seen we've seen upwards of you know people making you know two hundred excess of two hundred thousand dollars get tax credits to lower their monthly cost. Yep. And we're not talking small amounts. No, hundreds of dollars. Susie's got the record in the office. Yeah, I do. I've got someone saving over fourteen hundred dollars a month. Fourteen hundred dollars a month. A lot of money. That's a lot of money to be putting back into our economy. Exactly. So that's why we we say hey, if you've got an old plan. Now's the time to look. We've got till August 15th. Correct. Um, these rates will go through 2022. Right. Unless they update. Right. 
So here's the thing: if you like what you're seeing, talk to your legislators. Correct. So yeah. this is this is this is it. This is a, it's all about politics, man. All about politics on okay, the so, federal and state level. So, so the first one, one, assurance. Assurance. Okay. There's okay. only this. This is this is a surprising thing. There's only 1,264 people in assurance. Okay. There's 1,264 enrollees. Correct. They're in 18 counties. Okay. Uh, about a third in our section, in okay. our, our, our zone. Uh, they're they're asking for a rate increase of 4.49 percent. Okay, and not an unreasonable rate. Not unreasonable. Um, the average is actually really generally unreasonable. Correct. They are also got the the highest all across the board. Highest prices, yes. Highest prices, just oh, yeah. point blank. Straight up. Uh, for example, these these are examples. Forty year old non smoker. Mm -hmm. In Chelan County, a uh, bronze plant of 407. Okay. Uh, silver, 443. A uh, gold, 460. There might be other plants because these were talking a lot of documents. Yeah. Uh, okay. those are your, that's, a good, that's a good baseline. So, yes, if you're one of those 1,200 people, I would suggest shopping. Yes. Unless the two reasons we mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, next one, Health Alliance. Six. Twelve. Oh, they doubled. A full dozen. Yes, Not a lot of people using their individual plans. Correct. And the, the proposed rate decrease is three eighty four. So three dollars and eighty four cents. Yeah, they kind of shuffled it around. They they lost money mm -hmm. and they're they're requesting a decrease. So you think they're gonna start shopping for clients, customers more? Uh they're kind of geared that way in the fact that they were talking some broker compensation. Interesting. Yeah, basically almost all the plans talked about that didn't offer broker compensation talked about uh, paying brokers. Because that's one of the things that's been a thorn in our sides all along. Is uh, some of them will contract with us. Well, it, what it does is it, it relies on the insurance companies to go out and train licensed individuals and they act as a very important service element. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they can help people enroll, they can help people pay, they can help people explain. If the insurance company behaves poorly, they can assist in filing complaints. Correct. Um, we've, we've done all those things uh, for people uh, just because it's like, it's important. It's it's really that Mr. Incredible touch of, you know, go through this quarter or this quarter, file this obscure form here, and you get paid. It really does boil down to that. That's why we always recommend, since day one, Work with a broker. always select a broker. Right. Period. Okay. Number so, three. next one. Uh, number three. Okay. Community health. Okay. They're the, new they're the new game in town, theoretically. New game. New game for individual plants, because they've mm -hmm. been in the um, Medicaid law business for a long time. Mm -hmm. And they've also got a dual SNP uh, Medicare program. Yes. Um, they've been really standoffish when it comes to working with uh, with others. Yeah, they've been very insular. And guess how many people they've enrolled? Uh, I'm going to say 120. 341. That's more than I expected. Yeah. Um, I'd scared it's their goal plan. Um, it, it was a fair amount, wasn't that? They had a fair amount of silvers. Um, I think it was just kind of people just kind of feeling them out. Mm -hmm. um, they're in 18 counties, mm -hmm. um, and they got a proposed rate decrease of 4.8%. Okay, that could be profitable for them. For well, them. It's, uh, it's, it's some of it is is they're, they don't have the track records. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't have any kind of history. They don't have any history, they don't have a volume. Um, Health Alliance is a good example. They were Health Alliance was pulling their information from Illinois. Yeah, that's true. From their ACA plans, which uh, cool. from their they 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 run a health health plan in Illinois. Uh, they that's, well, that's you know, their on on their you know on I believe it's probably on healthcare.gov because it's Illinois. Yeah. Um, and they were using that information to kind of get the guidelines and pricing for their off exchange plan. Mm -hmm. So it's a different market with different rules, but they're trying to, to try to figure out the pricing. There's a shoehorning going on there. A lot of shoehorning. Um, our next is the big boy is 
or needed care. Needed care. They've been very, very popular the last couple of years. Um, they are, total is about thirty-five thousand seven hundred ninety-two. Okay, but throughout the state. Throughout the state. Mm -hmm. Now, only eight percent of their business is here in is our zone, Washington? Central Washington. Okay. They're predicting that in 2022, because of pricing, it's going to drop to five. Interesting. Okay, and they they're 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 having to shift plans. Mm -hmm. So we've got new plans coming on, including a zero deductible bronze plan. <laughs> oh, they're they're taking on Molina. So they've got some really interesting. Coordinated Care has got the most plans out there, and they're really starting to play with it. We're seeing some new goals. We're seeing some 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 old customers are leaving. Let me take take a look at this one. Uh, to, but I mean, they're really leaving. Are my babies staying around? Okay, this includes their vision, the vision side as well. Yeah. Central Care Five. Central Care is Central Care Five. Okay, that's. That's that's the bronze I like. Yep. And that's going away? That's going away. <laughs> Central Care 10. <laughs> Balance Care 71. <laughs> and the Secure Care 1. Ugh. Okay, Secure Care 5 is the good gold. Mm -hmm. Essential Care 71 is their best silver. Yeah, but they're they're bringing like the bronze zero deductible. Are sure. they going to maintain? But what I don't want to know, no. are they going to keep up? Because the selling point of those mm -hmm. two plans... Is our, we have, will know more later. We will know more later. Know they yet. also bring on a gold secure 20. I'll just say we have no clue about that. So, yeah. They, well, you can, but you have to dive so deep into that 400 plus page document. It's a lot of work. It is a ton of work. So, they're kind of maintaining that let's play, eat, let's play kind of steady, steady. Uh -huh. And um, they're traditionally the lowest cost plan actually in our state. They're one of the lowest one cost lowest plans. Cost. They're definitely not um, major. They've got one of the, the they've, they've got some really interesting marks in where their uh, where their uh, pricing is because they've, they've got because they get hit hard when it comes to the um, corridors, risk corridors. Mm -hmm. Risk adjustment corridors, which is something that, that, that's been proposed a couple times in Congress at the federal level to adjust uh, they took it, you know, they took an $840,000 hit. They had to pay out $840,000 to Correct. help other, to help subsidize other companies. I mean, yeah, they're, they're making, they're making fine. Their profits is, is one of the highest at 3.95. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Um, and their, their claims are, are fairly low at 80%. So they're right at that 80, 20 rule. Mm -hmm. So they're doing good there. And they got, like I said, they got one of the, one of the highest margins when it comes to profit. Okay. Right? Last is got to be life-wise. Lifewise, now Lifewise is, is kind of the old granddad, and they've got some interesting things going on with them. Well, hopefully, increase customer service. Okay, now Lifewise, they're looking for a rate increase of six point eight four percent. That's a pretty big jump. That is a huge jump. Uh, they are the. the you know, right now they're kind of pegged at the most expensive on the on the health plan finder. Um, Not it, the it, most, but is in our area. Right? In our area, yeah, yeah. zones up. Yeah, yeah. Um, but here's there there's there's you know first of all the rates aren't final, so so if you like your life wise, complain. Mm -hmm. um, but you know again, they had one of the higher profit margins of three point five percent. They also had a high higher claims of eighty two. 0.58. So they've, they've got a lot of payout going out. They're also in the most counties. They're in 35 counties. Oh, there we go. They're, and I think they're expanding, aren't they? Um, Coordinated Care did. Coordinated Care is going to be in 29 counties. Okay. Um, so yeah, they're they're going out there. Now the interesting one, now this is, this is the one that did, did, you know, before the ACA, mm -hmm. they have grandfather plans. Yes. They're the only ones out there with grandfather plans. Okay. And there are about 4,200 members still. Really? They're holding out of those old, old school They plans. are holding out. So basically, they hang on until they get Medicare and die. 
And you're talking there, the, they want like an 8.1% increase. That's, a, that's quite the jump. Are they trying to drive people, ch chase people out of those Okay, plans? their cheapest one, their cheapest. Now remember, we're floating down here in you know, the $300 and $400 range for the, for, you know, the, the, the on exchange or off exchange. Mm -hmm. The cheapest one for that 40 year old non smoker mm -hmm. is $616 Good a month. Gravy. So, you know, those 4,000 people, dollar people, really need to shop. They really do. Uh, they really it's, do. It's been a few, it's been a couple of years since I've run, we, we've run across one. Could it be the set it and forget it situation with that? Um, some of it could be set and forget it. Some of it's just comfort zone because they, 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 are they're afraid scared. they're going to lose their doctor. They're afraid they're going to lose their network. They're afraid they're going to make it happy because change is scary. Because change is scary. And what I tell those folks is point blank, go to one of your enrollment centers. Yeah. There are 11 spread throughout the state. Mm -hmm. Talk, have a real face-to-face. -face. It's like, look, it's a scary situation. Have them look up your meds. Have them look up your doctors. Mm -hmm. um, do those required things. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we're kind of, you know, it's kind of a weird, uh, we're, we're kind of not a huge decrease, but we've got the American Rescue Act, which is going through 2022. Right, and that's totally changing the dynamic of these prices. And that's gonna change the whole, yeah, because you know, you're looking at, you know, if you're under that 400% of poverty level, you get tax credits for the first time. Mm -hmm. As long as you're not, as long as your premium is 8.5% of the- Of your income. Of your income or less, yeah. And so, yeah, you can, you, we've seen folks that are in the $200,000 range of getting tax credit. Yeah, actually, yeah, I mean, it's made a huge difference. It's, it's a huge and difference. that is something that you need to speak with your legislators about if you want to keep that. If you want to keep any of the benefits of this, of this particular act, you want to talk to your representatives and your senators and anybody who might have any influence in this. Yeah, we did an interview uh, a, a little while ago with, with Kim Schreier, mm -hmm. Dr. Kim Schreier. Um, and she was a real advocate for, for, for lowering rates. Mm -hmm. um, if you're a little bit further over and you've got uh, Dan Newhouse, he hasn't been so friendly. No. Uh, so yeah, we, we always welcome him talking to them. Yeah, uh, speak to your legislators. On the local level, you know, mm -hmm. uh, we're getting hints, we're getting hints. Uh, hopefully we'll, we will see. We'll, an appearance this year. I have invited all three of our local ones where we where we sit. Mm -hmm. um, have I've heard back from one, mm -hmm. one of the three, and we're we're still in kind of touching negotiations with the others. Yeah, we will see. Because here's the thing: the state does a lot of things. One of the things they're doing is they're looking at extending tax credits out to that 500 percent of bottom level. Mm -hmm. Which is awesome. So that's on the state level. Uh, second thing which they passed this year was the uh, Cascade Care Two. Yes which required hospitals to have that contracted mm -hmm. with at least one of those. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, they didn't They didn't take into account, it's like, okay, it's nice that you're contracting them, but you should have them be able to, con if they're contracted with one, they should be contracted with all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they shouldn't be able to turn it like that. So they, they should be able to float you know, a wider, broader network across the state. Yeah. So there's, the, the, everything is still, the Cascade Care is so new, they're still building the tools to it. The, the the problem is they don't they don't have the users. No, not yet. And the users are not contri are, are are either segwaying over to the side, and they're not contributing what they need. Not yet. Because you know one of the things we, we we tell people is hey if you want to have University of Washington in your network in Central Washington, you better talk to the, you better log it into those. Complaint forms so those carriers that say I want University of Washington mm -hmm. um, be, Because we've seen that time and time again these filings give you an opportunity to make comments. Yep. This is your This is the, one of the few chances a person gets to actually Take it to somebody who has power and say this is what we want. This is what yep. I want to see Office of the Insurance Commissioner Matt's gonna have to have the link I'll have the link, have the link and you are encouraged to go there and make comments about whatever you think. This is the best plan ever, ever, ever love it. Hate this plan, they screwed me. Whatever you want to do, you have the right as a citizen of the United States and Washington State to make a public 
comment. Correct. Do your due diligence. Seriously. If you want them to listen to you, you need to say something. Yep. Um, so yeah, we've got a lot of good things going on. A lot of uh, meh. Uh, Overall, the average is a raise of just over five percent. That's, but that's it's so it's that that's such a nebulous number because that A is over the entire state, B is over all the carriers, and C. Well, here's the thing: it's the the rates are averages. Yes. So it's not particular to one plan or no. one area. No. And no. and that's you got a, one plan who raises who wants to raise their rate. You got one plan who wants to lower their rate, and they move them all together an average amount. Now on because it looks better on the on the now on, on my blog I spelled out okay this is a silver plan this is a bronze plan and this is a gold and I literally spelled out the pricing for that forty year old non smoker there you go and there's so, some ideas so you've got a kind of an idea of where these guys are starting with and where they're going yep um, you know if you're younger mm -hmm. you'll pay less if you're older you'll pay more there you go uh because it's rated at a three to one factor yeah, from we, 18 to 65. Yeah, we are age rated and no it doesn't feel fair but it is actually relatively fair well before the aca it was rated from from well, five to one wasn't it? it was a five to one ratio yeah, so yeah. the the folks that that are saying let's get rid of the aca and that are in their 60s instead of paying that three times they get a bump up to five times. So here's a good here's a here's a, an example. If a person who's 18 has a plan, pays a hundred dollars for it, that exact same plan for someone who's 60 is going to cost them three hundred dollars, mm -hmm. or if you're off the AC, five hundred dollars. Correct. So there you go. That's age rating, and and, and and it just it's a it's an arc as we get older. Yep. It, every year you have a birthday, every year your health price health care goes up. That's right. The um, older we get, the more likely we are to use it, and that's what that's all about. Yeah, because there's, there's wear and tear. Um, because, you know, you're human. So, yeah, this is this is where we say, people, please talk, to, you know, please, you know, log in, mm -hmm. talk to your thing. Uh, your health your healthcare providers say, hey, why aren't you contracted with such and such? Uh-huh. Uh, a good example, because we, we, we've we had a lot of new interest this year, mm -hmm. they said, hey, Premira, why, we want a Premira plan that co covers everything. Premira's not coming back in this area unless someone, you know, ask them, awesome, ask them, come back to that and says, hey, and they've got kind of, because Premira is one of the Blue, Blue Cross Blue Shield companies, mm -hmm. they've got kind of this weird hands-off approach to certain areas. Yeah. Um, there are five different carriers. Mm -hmm. uh, LifeWise is one. Yep. They're a Blue Cross Blue Shield. They are. Uh, Assurance is another. It is. So we've got two in our area, but they, they notice that they're in two different brackets. Yes, one is exchange, one is off exchange. Is, is that exciting on how that works yeah. and how you, you can- You see the price difference. Yeah, it's, it is a, it's an amazing price difference. Yeah. But that is that is on how it is in, you know, so you got Premier out there. The other one you've got out there is Rich Fan. Yeah, yeah. We've never had bridge span in our area. Bridge span and Regents. Yeah, and they're both available in the higher density areas. Higher density areas, yeah, because we are kind of this weird black hole of healthcare. We are. We're better than we used to be, but we are still not as good as say Pierce County. Well, some of it is, like I said, it's 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 the providers negotiating out. That's exactly providers. right. That's exactly right. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna you know throw throw them under the bus um, until proven otherwise, uh, because the evidence we've got is well, we've got health insurance companies that left yeah. because they couldn't they couldn't maintain they couldn't make the negotiations. Uh, yeah. we, we can look at the price charts. There you go. That's that's the other thing. Look at the price charts. How does our zone seven compare to everyone else? There you go. Because I know we're 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 you know. You know, rated we're you know we're paying more for our health care in Chelan, Douglas, than King County is. Yeah. So yeah, that's why I always. It's all about competition. Uh, it is. Okay. Yeah. So hey, right. everyone, have a good day. Yes. You got your first look at prices, what they're going to be. That's right. Always use a broker if you have not priced your health insurance since May sixth of this year. Now's the time. Give us a call. We will we will sort it out. Yes, indeed. And meanwhile, if you're Wangie, stay cool. Yep, stay Take cool. Care.